Okay, I want to start out by saying before pulling your P&L, profit and loss, those are interchangeable words, before pulling that up, you must make sure your balance sheet ties out. I will never look at a P&L unless I can confirm that the balance sheet ties out. Otherwise, I mean, those are made up numbers to me, okay? Um, so that being said, assuming that this is correct, we are dealing with um, annual totals, okay? And when I say annual totals, by looking at this P&L, I'm saying that the total revenue, that's the amount that we took in, that we earned, okay, was just under 300,000. I like to break it out if there's multiple streams of income or multiple you know, uh, classifications of revenue. I like to break out the portion of time so you can see the portion of time makes up for 25, just over 25%, okay? I, I like to put these percentages there. I like to calculate everything so I know where things are. Okay, cost of goods sold was 132,921. So it's about $133,000 that it took us to earn the, the you know, 300,000, actually 197,771. Okay, that's what the cost of goods tells me about those sales. So in order to make the 197, it cost us 132. That's, you know, about a 40% gain, okay? So the profit after that, the gross profit is 166, just over. Okay, then we take into account overhead. Overhead is your uh, cost to do business. It would be everything that is required to stay afloat, stay open. Um, so that would be your rent, uh, payroll, uh, uh, postage, things like that, rent, you know, every, all the things, whether you had a hundred clients or one, okay, that's what it costs to do business. So that brings us, that leaves us with a net profitability of 132,000. Okay. In this case, I just went ahead and did an estimate, like a calculation and said, okay, well, based on this, again, we don't know all the individual circumstances, but I calculated a $20,000 tax liability based on that. Okay. A little probably short but um that would you know bring the total that we need to come up with for expenses as being 187 because we took 132 34 and 20 and that gave us 187 okay aside from this i like to break it out by quarter you can see here i divided the annual totals by four to get the totals per quarter i just like to know this for my own sanity and then I like to break that out even further. So I take the quarterly, divide that by three, that gives me the monthly totals. Now I know that this isn't exactly perfect because you know that's not the way that the ebbs and flow of business goes and that's not the way that the money trickles in or goes out. So again, this is just a rough estimate. So in order for us to break even, okay, not exactly making a profit, I'm saying to break even, it's we need to make $520 per day to break even, to be able to pay for the cost of goods, the overhead, and the tax liability. And again, this is assuming that you're gonna sell this high. Every, you know, I like to plan for this, so um, you know, I like to see a steady increase over the years on an average. Um, you know, m the majority of my clients, you know, have uh, have gone up <laughs> by more than that. Some even more than a hundred percent. So. Um, that's what it is, $520 per day. Now that just is based on a 30 day being open. Not everybody is open 30 days. Not everybody is you know, gonna make the money exactly like that. It's again, it's an average, that is our break even. Let me know if there's questions.